Okay, so the probability that we are after is probability that the status of the flight is delayed given that the day of the week is Monday, departure time is 3 p.m., origin is the National Airport, destination is the New York Airport, the carrier is United Airlines, and the weather is good. That's the probability that we are trying to find in this particular case. In other words, we are saying P probability that status is delayed given all those conditions that we spoke about. Unfortunately, we don't have enough data. So even though we have a file with 2,200 cases, the curse of dimensionality has seen to it that we simply don't have enough data to calculate the probability that we are after. So what do you do when in trouble? Well, in mathematics, statistics, and all these quantitative fields, when in trouble, one option, of course, is to simply give up. Another option is really to say, well, okay, we cannot calculate the exact value. How about we try to find an approximate value for the, prob the probability or the figure that we are after? After all, if you can get a reasonable approximation, and remember, in data mining, we are trying to say we don't want a fantastic dramatic improvement. Even 10%, 20% improvements can be good. So what if we can find an approximation that can do that for us? So the naive base technique is used when exact base cannot work, right? We've already discussed exact base. That is, you've got a lot of data. There are enough, there's enough data for uh, every combination of predictor attributes. In that case, you can just use the proportion as the probability and use the classification. However, we have seen that the curse of dimensionality usually will not allow that on real life problems. So naive base is simply a method that computes a good approximation for this probability. Probability that the target attribute has a certain value given that the predictor attributes have specific values. That's really what naive base is. Okay? Now the approximation is a little bit involved. So I won't go into the approximation right now. In fact, I might not go into it in lecture form. I might just post additional material for you to read on how this approximation is actually achieved. The good thing is you probably don't need to know the details of that approximation. 